Hello. I've put an advert inside a widget area in um, this WordPress website and I'm using a Studio Press theme. But this similar similar code for most WordPress websites, but this is specifically about a Studio Press theme. So now that I've put my advert inside this widget area I want to choose which posts or pages the advert displays on at the moment it displays on posts on the blog page on the front page of my website um, and just about everywhere if I look at category it's on top of the category pages everywhere so to do to do this I need to add some conditional code to the widget area that I put into my functions PHP in uh, in my studio press theme so if I go to my dashboard to appearance editor then look for theme functions functions PHP now the code I used is this bit here uh, I made a video about um, adding the welcome text widget area to a studio press theme but what I'm going to do now is add some conditional code to pick the pages that it appears on. Now, where's the code I need? I'm going to do it just on the blog page. So, paste the code and I'll explain what it does. I don't know if you'll be able to see this on the video. I'll just click this save button. What this says is, if, uh, then there's a, an exclamation mark, is home return and what it means is if it's not the home page don't add the widget area so let's see if that's worked so well it's if it's not the blog page so this is the blog page here and there it is but it's not on pages it's not on the front page and it's not on post but it is on the blog page so we can we can pick all sorts of different things if we wanted it just to be on pages but not posts Instead of this home, I could change that to page. So it's now is page. And if we look at pages, our advert's there, but it's not on posts, just on pages. If I wanted it to be just on blog posts, I could use if it, the way you target blog posts is the word single. So instead of is page, we could choose is single. So now we've got if exclamation mark is single return, which means is not. If it's not a single blog post, it won't run. The code won't appear. So let's go to the home page. That's not a blog post. This is a page. It's not a blog post. But to recent blog posts, that's a post, so it appears there. It's a post, so it appears here. So what we can do is just by changing the conditional tag, we can change which post and pages we target. Now the one I actually want to use is a little bit more complicated. That's why I didn't use it in the first place. But what I'm going to do now is put the advert only on... Um, blog posts that are in the category of gardening tips so I'm not sure if you'll be able, if you'll be able to see this but I'm going to go through this later on anyway but it's it's in category gardening tips so I think I updated that one so now the only time we should see it is if we look at something that's in the category of gardening tips so uh, we've got a category down here so this is in the category of gardening tips and we've got two posts, gardening tips, and there, there's our advert. And what's the other post? Go back. Gardening advice, there's our advert. But it's in ordinary blog posts, it's not there. In web pages or WordPress web pages, it's not there. It's not there on the front page. And it's not there on the blog page. So Let's, I've got some slides to show you because it can get a bit confusing this um, well I'll tell you what I'll just show you first you need to know the the type of page you're dealing with so if you look here I've, I've installed a plugin and the plugin I've installed is this display template name 
Now when you're first starting to use these uh, conditional tags it's useful to know the, the, the page template you're using it can be confusing sometimes and a plugin like this is useful because what it does it, it shows in the corner of your screen somewhere you can set different things or set it to display in different places but it shows you with and it's called display template name is that plugin there's, there's lots of them and if you look here what it's doing it's telling us the current template page PHP now if we go to a post it says current template single PHP um, and so whenever you get stuck and you don't know which one it is have a look here install a plugin if you if you want to I mean I only install plugins when I have to this is on a local computer so I on me um, it's not on the on a a website it's inside my computer I've got a server inside my computer so it, it doesn't really matter whatever I do on here it doesn't really matter I can't break anything or you know upset anything so I install all sorts of plugins but it's useful if you're just learning a plugin like this is useful because it can you can then find out more easily which template type you're using and the plugins called display template name right let's have oh go back to the slides we get too sidetracked what we're doing we're using conditional tags in studio press themes and wordpress right the problem i wanted to display an advertising banner but only on posts in the gardening tips category the solution was a conditional tag in my code and this is what i've added it said if isn't that that means not an exclamation mark in php means not so if not in category gardening tips return and what that actually does is in, in plain English it says if it's not in the category of gardening tips don't run this code that, that makes the um, the widget area appear so where were we I think that was on so it will only run this code that makes this widget area appear if we're in the category of gardening tips so right so that means that only the people who are viewing my gardening tips blog posts will see my garden center advertising banner right now the problem is the tag you use changes depending on which theme you're using so you have to do some detective work to find the tag you need and the detective work is done using this plugin that tells you the current template is and with that one's single so we'll actually see a single uh, a bit of code that makes a single page work or single post so a plugin such as template name can help now is home let's find one with his home um, index PHP actually is the targets home which is a bit confusing um, let's try another one that's more logical but that's the standard WordPress um, blog listing home page is home is front page is when you've set your front page to a static page you can do that in the WordPress settings is single is a single blog post now then we can do that one with our little plugin we can understand how it works so if we go to a blog post recent blog posts and there it says single see single and so we'd need this um, tag to target a single blog post and we would know it's a single blog post by looking at the plugin up here and it tells us it's using the template single PHP is page is a similar thing if we look at a page so these are pages test page for the page and there it's you know, the current template is page PHP and if we needed to use a page we could use this is underscore page and that would target a single WordPress page as opposed to a single WordPress blog post. Singular gets posts and pages and uh, attachments such as images. Now what this one says is if it's the home page, or well as the home page means blog page in WordPress, or two pipe characters means or in PHP, it's single, so it's either the blog home page or a single blog post, that's the code you would need to target those two types of things, now this is an array in PHP an array is a list so what we've got here we've got the ordinary is single tag there and there but inside it we've added a list so what it says is 
if this is a single if it, if any of these single blog posts in this list the array is a list so any single blog post in this list um, they, they will be targeted so we've got an ID that's every page or post has got an ID number and then you've got a slug every page or post has got a slug and this is a page title and you can use either you can use the ID the slug or the um, page title so you start your list with the word array then you need these parentheses um, page slugs or page titles need to be in single quotes there but ID numbers don't and you separate items with a comma so it's comma there I'm going to add another one to the list so we've a comma there um, I'll just show you what a slug is just in case you don't know you probably if you use WordPress you probably know what a slug is let's have a look right now sometimes you've got to open up here we go slug down here we've got the one that says slug if you can't see that sometimes in your um, screen options up here you should find a slug there that, that that says slug make sure the box is ticked and then you should be able to see what the color the slug is just the, this bit here there it's the bit that WordPress uses as your URL so you can either use the page title or you can use this slug here and you find the slug well you can either find the slug from there if you want to or if you scroll down to the bottom of the page you should be able to see it says slug here right let's see where we get to in our list so that's that's an array basically an array is just a list and it's a list inside your conditional tag so it's just a bit more about arrays you can have the ID number the slug or the page title this is just another um, bit of conditional code if it's not the front page and it's not the home page the blog page don't run the code that's what that says this is where the uh, thing went in I made a previous video and it was about adding this welcome text um, widget area and if you're using that welcome text widget area we, we, got, we got that from Brian Gardner's website um, all the code we needed and all we needed to add to it was this if statement here so because when we first got it it appears on every page of the site but this this little if statement here or this conditional code made it so that um, we can choose which pages to or post to display the uh, the, the widget area on all right we're back to the beginning I just want to show you before we finish whenever you edit PHP do be careful I'll just don't know if we no, I'll have to open up a uh, I'll just open up a thing so I can show you how something works. Alright. Now, if you imagine if you can log on using FTP to your um to your web server, what you need to do, if you, if you break something, it can be a big problem. Excuse me. <coughs> if you're using PHP and you break something, you've got big troubles. So let's have a look. Appearance, editor we're now in the editor and if we go to functions PHP if I just make one typo when I'm using PHP all I'm going to do is add an extra curly brace there so all I've done I did one curly brace but it's a typo and PHP is not fault tolerant so this is what happens if we just with one little typo the website disappears completely and the only way to fix it or the best way to fix it is to log on using FTP open up the file that you've broken which it was functions PHP I broke so um, you'd have to log on with FTP download or open up the this functions PHP file that we've broken then I just have to fix it which I just got rid of the typo that I made click Save and then WordPress is now broken but we fixed it because we could log on using FTP and knew which files and folders to repair but the problem is 
if you if you damage a PHP file while you're using um, WordPress, WordPress itself will stop working, and you can't you can't use it to you can't fix the file that you've broken. So please only do this once you've learned how to uh, use FTP and um, you know which fact. Well, you backed everything, always back everything up before you start. Um, and you've backed everything up and you know how to replace or repair any files you break. Well, thanks for watching. Um, oh, and don't forget to go to the WordPress codex. All these conditional tags we've been dealing with, there's loads and loads more in the WordPress codex. So read through that, it'll keep you busy for an afternoon. There's loads and loads of things you can uh, you can do with conditional tags. And the more, the more you understand it, the more things you can do with WordPress, it really is useful as using conditional tags. Anyway, I've kept you long enough. Thanks for watching. I do hope you found that useful, and bye for now.